Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily increase the XP and money in your Euro Truck Simulator 2 profile with a neat little um, external tool. So it's not exactly a mod because you don't do anything in your game and well, apart from create a profile and basically this means that you can use this tool to increase your money and increase your xp and the great thing about this tool is that you can use your game profile on chuckers mp or on, uh, on multiplayer so instead of having to do the grind you can easily you know maximize just adding as much money as you want and then you'll be able to buy whatever truck design that you want so basically this is a tool that allows you to edit your game save file and that way you can pretty much jump the ranks and be all set to go with Chuckers MP showing a proper truck rather than some underpowered uh, GPO. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a profile in your truck simulator too. So I'll so you just see how it works. So basically you can do this with an existing profile, but we will create a new profile. Uh, so yeah, enter and so what we will do here is we will click on manage profiles and we will create a new profile. And what we will do is we'll call this profile. We'll call this profile YT Tutorial. Okie dokie. Then, okay, we can just quickly select a random picture. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this one will do. And yeah, random Renault. Uh, actually, no. Not a Renault. Let's choose like Mercedes, maybe. And yeah, there we go. Okay, that's all good. Enter company name. NA and let's go. Skip the wizard. So now once this is created, what we can do is we can just go and edit our profile. So this allows you pretty much to edit the game save completely. I'll have a link in the description down below. And the great thing about this tool is it literally takes a minute or two and then you're all good to go. So what we will do is once we've created the profile, we will exit out and we will go and edit our save. And this is gonna go uh through the tutorial, but we'll just do it escapes as well so any of you some of you might have seen my video i did like f almost a year ago which showed you how to do this without the mods using the f9 feature and the game console but that's quite a long and painstaking process when you can do this ver a version here which is a lot quicker and quite frankly just easier to do as well so that's why i suggest using this instead so there's just a bit of waiting going on your truck simulator 2 loading and there we go. Okay, so we will select our city to start in and let's select something like a Duisburg because there tends to be quite a few people there in Chuckers MP. Nope, I don't want a tutorial bin there, done that. So yeah, Duisburg to Dortmund, no thank you. We will not be doing that. We don't need to be doing that because we have our little tool. So yeah, enter, enter, enter. Yeah, okie dokie. There we go. So yeah, once we're past all these loading screens, we should be good to go. Okay, so now what we will do is we click Escape. We're going to make sure we save our game. So we click Save Game. And we will call this... Uh, actually, we can just save it on the new save. Okay, perfect. Now we can just quit. Uh -huh. we probably want to, you'll probably want to be exited out from the game. Now what we do is we open up this thing here. So once you download your TS tool, uh, it should be called ts.se.tool. It should be in the downloads folder or on your download section if you're using Google Chrome under the Chrome bar. Now what we do is we're going to open up this exe file here. You have the how to PDF as well, and I'm sure there's other ways to do it. You might want to extract this, which I haven't done. Or maybe I have, but we're just going to open up the TSC tool. And then this also works for American Truck Simulator as well as Euro Truck Simulator too. So every time you launch this up, you're going to get something like this, which is going to make sure it's updated. If you want, you can don donate to the developer. And now what we do is we have our profile. So we need to select our profile. So if you go here, we have our profile automatically selected. Basically just selected the last game we played. So as you can see here, it's YT tutorial. But you can go through here and select whichever profile you want to edit. And then also you'll have this section here. So as you know there, there was the game saves. So sometimes you could, uh, if you save your games, you'll have different saves. So make sure that you're editing the save game you want. So as you can see here, we have no name save game 1. This is the one we saved. You can also use the other save, but if you use the other save, this will only work if then you load in the other save via the YT tutorial. So that's why it's easy. Uh, make sure just to save things uh, because that way it's a bit less messy in case you end up editing a save within the profile, which doesn't actually load automatically because of a headache to do. But anyway, now what we can do is we can go ahead and edit a profile. And of course, if you want to use ATS, you just go and click ATS. So as you can see here, what we want to do is we want to load our 
profiles, you have S profile, Y2 tutorial, and the save we did. So just load. And once that's loaded, we are good to go and start editing. Okie dokie, so now what we can do is we can pretty much start adding our levels, so you can add one level, you can take away levels, so yeah, basically you can improve stuff, or you can disimprove stuff, and you can also pretty much go to the max level, we'll just go up to like, let's say, yeah, there you go, and then we can just click here and we can select all of this, pretty much, that we have maxed out on skills, then if you go to company, this is where we can control our money, so we're just going to give ourselves a few million and we'll be good to go, so yeah, that should be enough. And then what we can do here is you can actually also, if you want, buy stuff. So as you can see here, you can go through and find whichever ones you want to buy. So let's buy one in Dansk, in Poland. And let's buy another one, let's say, in Linz, in Germany. No, in Austria. And so on. Yeah, sorry, Linz is in Austria. And then here as well, we can also, if you want, add all these and say we visited these. So if we ever want to do a, you know, a quick job or a freight market job from there, we'll be good to go. So again, you can just select these as you wish and... Or you can even do this, uh, I think you can do that, no, the shift thing doesn't work, so you have to do it manually for all of them. But yeah, that's how you edit this part, then we could go here to trucks, you can fix your trucks, as you can see here. Uh, if your truck is basically damaged, you can fix it, so you just click these little spanners. Then you can also fuel it up if it's out of fuel. And what we can do is, you can also, I, we can also find new trucks, I don't think so. Yeah, you cannot, if you, yeah, you can't buy new trucks, but... You'll have the money and you can buy the trucks in game profile but yeah you can basically fix your trucks here and edit them up as well and you can also copy over details from your trucks that you own and use them on a different truck then again as you can see here you have your trailers again you can basically prepare your trailers and if you go to freight markets pretty much here what you can do is you have a few things you can edit in your freight market um yeah pretty much this is work in progress but basically the main things uh yeah the convoy control this is for the oh this is for the open beta so this is still a uh, work in progress won't be working uh might have a few bugs but basically the main thing is this is how you uh, edit your this is where you edit your xp or your level and this is where you edit your truck these are the most important parts now the most important well now the most important these are the main parts now the most important thing is just to save this and then you just yep there you go file saved and now what we will do is we will close this we don't need this anymore unless we're editing more profiles and then open up your truck simulator 2 and then we can just uh enjoy a new profile with a new pretty much yeah sorry one sec yeah so you, oh yeah so you open up your truck simulator 2 and then you can enjoy your new profile with everything done and ready to go so basically whatever edits you've made and then once you buy the trucks you want all that kind of stuff you can load this up into truckers mp as well so pretty much just a nice way to avoid grinding in Trucker's MP. And this is a really simple tool to use. It's even, even easier than using some of those mods which give you XP and cash. The great thing about this is you have full control. So, you know, this is a very useful tool. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're playing Trucker's MP. Because I know with Trucker's MP there's no mods allowed. And if you go back, and now save and load. Actually, as you can see here, this is what I meant. So as you can see here, it didn't uh, load the one we want. So we're going to load game. And if we go here to unnamed mod, this is the one where we actually, uh, we can also show auto saves. But I think this is loaded the auto save. We actually want to load this. So as you can see there, this is why it gets a bit messy. And this is why you want to make sure that when you load, you load in the save you want. So we're going to load this. And then this is another reason why you want to load this in first into your single player before you load into Chuckers MP because that there happens as well. So basically just make sure uh, you know which save uh, you've edited. And then as you can see here, there is our cache. We've got 1 million. Oh no, that's not 1 million. That's like... one. Yeah, not well over 1 million. I think that's... Yeah, that's 1 billion as you can see there. So I think we put in like 40 something, but uh, maybe 1 billion is the maximum you can put in or just over 1 billion. And then also you'll see here, if you take a look at our level, it's level 150. We've got 920,000 XP. And if you take a look now at our world map, you should also see, yeah, there you go. All these cities in yellow are the ones we randomly clicked on and we've explored those as well. So quite a handy tool, very easy to use. And I definitely recommend it. The link is down below in the description. Give this tutorial a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Share it with anyone you know that might want this. Uh, might want to do this themselves as well and of course subscribe to the channel for more useful years chuck simulator 2 tutorials as well as streams and more chat with simulation content that is it for now until next time oh yeah and do i not join the discord bye for now